Okay, we're looking at Lowe's at some of their beautiful fall color of what they got in. And look at their pretty cone flowers and the different colors that they have in. Some yellows, some pinks, and it, they have it in this cute little, um, it's plastic, but it looks like a little pumpkin container, $31.98. And coneflowers are perennials in our area in Zone 5 in Illinois. And it's telling us on the tag that this will get 24 to 36 inches high, 18 to 24 inches wide, space it 18 to 24 inches, and it is hardy down to Zone 4. So it is not hardy in Zones 1 through 3, but look how pretty that coneflower is. And that's in that pinky red salmon color. And then let me show you a yellow one next to it. So that would be a really pretty fall. Something simple to put out in your on your patio, on your front steps. You could mix some other things with this and put it in a bigger container. But instantly a pop of fall color. We've got some darker purple back here. I see you know, a white one peek out down here. So just a whole a mix of different cone flowers. Blue Henry Aster, 798. Full sun, not hardy in zones one to three. It gets 18 to 24 inches high and 18 to 24 inches wide. And then of course space it 18 to 24 inches. And that has that pretty purple flower in it. And as you can see, there's just a whole mass of them there. Rebecca, American Gold Rush. It's a perennial, takes full sun. It's not hardy if it's down in one to, one to three zone, but four and above, it is hardy for winter as a perennial. It gets 22 to 26 inches high, 40 to 44 inches wide. So that is a wide black-eyed Susan, guys. And it gets, uh, it says to, of course, space it then at least 44 inches. And let's look at those flowers. I'm gonna tilt it here so you can get a better look at those. They're on the smaller side for a black-eyed Susan, but they're very pretty. And I'm sure the pollinators would love these. Okay, next we have some proven winners, Peach Berry Ice Hookara. And it is a preannual. It takes sun to shade, 1098. And does it tell us what size this is? I would say, oh, yeah, two and a half quart container. Let me pull this over a little bit so you can see. So you can see that darker color, the more of the burgundy down in the center, and then it gets lighter on the outside. So let's see what the peach berry tells us. So this is going to stay short. It only gets 8 to 10 inches tall. And then to space it, a minimum of 30 inches, a maximum of 34 inches. It is hardy in zones 4 through 9, and it blooms in midsummer and sun to light shade. And it's telling us its features are a beautiful option for adding orange to your shade garden, large apricot orange leaves with a silver overlay beautifully pronounced ruffling and bright pink undersides and the leaves will mellow when it gets in when it's warmer cream colored flowers so let's see if they're the how the undersides of these leaves look oh yeah look at that what a difference comparing the two leaves side by side so that was peach berry ice hookah Okay, look at this fall color. These are really pretty. These are used a lot as house plants um, in our area in zone five. It says it's porch perfect. And um, it is a Croton 
I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right, but right there you see on the tag. This is a pretty large container because it's already set in a container to put outside. It says 1.72 gallons. It's $19.98, and it tells us it needs full sun, six hours of direct sun. Once it gets down to 30 to 40 degrees, it will not make it. So this is definitely, to me, a house plant or something that you could put out right now. But as soon as our temperatures start cooling off at night, um, it would be too cold for this. So it's upright growth. It says grow three together, but you know how it says porch perfect? It would be a, definitely a porch plant, something that you could take in at nighttime on those cold nights, but quite pretty. Okay, another beautiful fall color would be the ornamental peppers. So the ornamental pepper is $16.98. It is an upright annual that needs full sun, 1.73 gallon, this container. So this is almost like in a planter pot where if you wanted to, you could set that outside like that without putting it into another container. So let's see what it tells us. You gotta water it twice a week. It's gonna get 10 inches high by 10 inches wide space it 10 inches it's non-hardy below 32 degrees so as soon as it freezes in our area this plant would not make it um, it would be a pretty porch plant and look at those little round berries on it with the peppers and there's an assortment of colors right now this one is more of the white and then we have some that have turned to the orange color some green ones farther back, and then berries I'm seeing in either orange, purple, white. So it is a very pretty plant. Rose kale. It is $6.98 and it is in a three quart pot. It takes full sun, so we need six hours of sun a day for this. Let's flip it over and see what it tells us. It tolerates frost. It would get eight to 12 inches high, 12 to 14 inches wide, and space 12 to 14 inches. Water twice a week. So that has some really pretty purple on the top. Lavender, that rose color. So that would be pretty mixed in with um, the fall colors. Now this one here Let's see if it's, yeah, it's different. It's white kale. So it's the same type of kale, just, um, and you can see the picture there. So $6.98, it also needs the full sun, exactly the same, eight to 12 high, 12 to 14 wide, space 12 to 14 inches, but it would get the white um, center on it instead of the rose. So we've got some white ones here. We've got the rose ones here in the middle. And then we have pigeon pink. And that's a cool shaped kale. So let's see what the pigeon pink kale. 6.98, needs six um, hours of full sun. It's in the same size pot, a three quart pot. Uh, in the same size, 8 to 12 inches high, 12 to 14 wide, space 12 to 14, and it does tolerate frost. Water it twice a week. Oh, and look at this one here. I like this one, this purpley one. Isn't that pretty with that veining on the leaf? Let's see what that one is. Oh, it's the pigeon purple kale. And look how it gets purple there in the middle like that. That's really pretty. $6.98 also, full sun, three, three quart pot, and same size, eight to 12 inches high, 12 to 14 wide, and it will also tolerate frost. Okay, we can't talk about fall flowers unless we talk about the mum, because the mum is just the traditional fall flower that a lot of people think of 
when they think of fall flowers and look at the pretty grass in that arrangement. So let's read what the tag tells us. Now this is a medium decorative planter. So this is a considered a fall refill plant. And what that means is if you already have a pretty planter and you need to switch it out for fall, you pick your plant, you already have the planter or you buy a pretty planter and this is just a drop in. So this is your liner that you would put in. So it fits 11.7 decorative planter, which is a medium size. It's 22.98, 2.35 gallon, full sun, of course, because moms love full sun. And let's see if I can flip this tag over. So of course it needs water regularly. You have to water it. Uh, for pruning, you can remove the spent flowers, the mum flowers, or pinch it back. And then fertilize once a month, it says, with a balanced fertilizer such as a 20-20-20. Now, you wouldn't have to do that, but you can. So it's a red mum, and the grass that they put in it is fountain grass. And they do have it in yellow. They have it in purple, the mum color. So just a wide assortment, depending on what color and what matches with the decor that you have outside or your favorite fall color flower. This one has a mix of both purple and yellow with the fountain grass. Here is another version of the medium size drop-in refill planter. And this one doesn't have the grass in it. It just has the mums and they do it in a assortment. So this basket here has the purple, purple, the rust, and the yellow. The one next to it has the white and yellow and purple. And so let's see what it tells us. It says, I'm thinking, yeah, it's $15.98, full sun, fall refill. And as they show you, you just drop it in. This is a one and a half gallon pot. So it's a smaller pot than the other one that had the fountain grass. And then it shows you the three different colored mums that you get with that orange, pink, and yellow. And it tells us the same thing, that you need to keep it watered. You can prune it by cutting off the spent flowers and you can fertilize it once a month with 20-20-20 fertilizer if, if you choose to do that. Now look at this one. This one was hiding here. I like this one. This one's for a large 13 by 13 decorative container, $22.98. It needs full sun and look at all the stuff that we get in there. We get some Goldilocks, Creeping Jenny, it looks like. Let me flip it over. Yep, Creeping Jenny, we get some mums, we get some ornamental kale and we get a calabrocoa petunia so we've got a pretty petunia there you get the pretty kale that purpley kale in there with that yellow gold mum so if i pull this out a little bit so you can see it that is just some eye-catching color for fall and I see another one over here I want to show you that has the same type of assortment, but look at that purple flower in there, the petunia, instead. And instead of the bronzy mum, it has more of the bright yellow mum and then has the kale that is the same. It's that purple kale in the middle and also has that creeping jenny and that was $22.98 for that drop-in refill for instant color in your garden or on your porch or deck area they do have outside some of their decorative fall wreaths so we'll we'll do a run through those real quickly just so you can see what lowe's has in stock right now so we have a welcome one with the pretty pine cones. 
um, and the pumpkins, some glitter leaves and the bow. 20 inch wreath, $29.98 for that. Their other selection is the wheat wreath with the berries on it, or more the corn stalk is what I think of. It is $24.98. We've got the chartreuse green, watermelon, gourd, pine cones, more of the grayish, kind of a grayish green leaf. It is $32.98 for that wreath. Next to that, we have the different color of rust and um, more of the tan colored wheat for $39.98. And then we have the eucalyptus wreath for $39.98. They also have an assortment of decor, outside decor, pumpkins, in different, some different colors. Yeah, these are like plastic. And the small one is $21.98 and the large one is $39.98. This says the three tier is $32.98. The green large pumpkin is $39.98. The smaller version is $21.98. We have a steak here, the yard steak, $29.98 with the two pumpkins and the gourd. The blue version of that pumpkin for $21.98. There's some gnomes in different sizes. This would be really cute out on your porch with a plant in it. It's got the hole there, either a plant or some tall wheat stalks or corn stalks for fall. That would be pretty for $22.98. There's a bicolor pumpkin, a multicolored one, $22.98. We've got some little fox and raccoon pumpkins that are $22.98. There's a large three stacked pumpkin. It's $99.98, 24 inch triple stacked pumpkin here. And here's some larger pumpkins, $39.98. More um, out fall, outside fall decor or porch decor. We've got a little scarecrow welcome sign, $49.98. And then some yard stakes at different prices. It looks like the scarecrows are $29.98, the sunflower is $24.98, and the three-tier pumpkin is $26.98. And those are all, of course, made out of metal for the yard, and you just push those down into the grass, or if you had a large planter, they would look pretty in a large planter, too, in the backdrop. So that's just some of their fall decor that they have setting outside in the garden center at Lowe's.